Hello, hello everybody. Balls. We need balls. Lots of balls for today's episode of Pokemon Leaf Green, episode 21, I believe. It's been a very, very, very long time. I'm sorry. Um, today what we're doing, I will admit, has very much put me off. <laughs> um, recording in a while. Actually, we've got five escape ropes. We won't need any more than that. Um, revives. We've got eight. Let's bump that up to ten. Just in case. Hyper potions. Let's get ten of them. Uh, and some full heals. Twenty of them. And I know we should get super repels instead of max repels, but I can't be bothered to try and find where they're selling them. Uh, let's get forty of them. Just because I don't want to be dealing with uh, <laughs> um, random battles today, considering what we're about to do. Oh, good lord. Uh, quickly, oops, quickly check the team. Uh, we got our HM slave, which is good. Okay, they all look good. Okay, so, what we will be doing today. We are going after the legendary trio of the game. Um, there's two repels there. Where are my... Oh, I've got 15 super repels. Cool, I'll use them. Okay. Fair enough. It's been so long, I haven't remembered that I've got a super repel active. But to be honest, I've slept since then, so... <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, we are going after the legendary trio of the game. And normally people save this until... After. Oh, hang on, that's not right, is it? Oh well. Um, oh, that was good timing. Yes, normally people save this until after they've done the Elite Four, but they're all ac uh, accessible to us now, so I'm going to go do it. Um, okay, so... If I think... <laughs> if I think... Don't think, guys, it's very dangerous. Well, for me it is anyway. Uh, we just got to go as low as we can. Uh, I believe it's this way. And down one more. Yes. Okay, so the first of the legendary trios will be, I think, the hardest. Articuno. And of course, before any legendary battle, you're going to want to save. Just in case you knock it out and you can reset and <laughs> go through it all over again. Uh, you see, the, the bad thing is as well, I, I don't have, unless Jim has Thunder Wave. Jim does have Thunder Wave. I'm going to throw Jim out first. Cool. Let's just save again just so I don't have to make that switch when I reset because I know I'm going to have to reset. Blubbing. Okay, let's do this. I love the battle theme. Articuno sounds pretty cool as well. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to hit it off straight away with Thunder Wave. Just to paralyze it, slow it down. Um, as of course, I said many times throughout this Let's Play, paralyzing a Pokemon or you know inflicting it with a status effect makes it easier to catch. And the catch rate of these legendary birds is ridiculously small. This is probably going to take it out. I'm cool with that. Paralyzing, cannot move. I'm cool with that too. Let's go for another shockwave. Hopefully this won't be a critical hit. I don't want to do one more. <laughs> because I know if I do one more it's going to take it out. Let's go for a quick attack. Okay, that did squat. That's brilliant. Keep going for more quick attacks. Okay, let's see if this takes off more than half the remaining hit points. I'm gonna go for one more. <laughs> Famous last words? I'm surprised that this thing isn't even attacking. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Whew. I wish I had my Brailing from X and Y. My Brailing is awesome. Um, let's just go with the Master Ball. <laughs> no, we're going with an Ultra Ball. Fingers crossed. It's not going to be first turn. It cannot be first time. Nope. Oh dear. <laughs> this is this is gonna take a while of just throwing balls. 
Ha. One shake, two shake, three shake. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna cut back to when I actually catch this thing. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys when I finally catch it. Oh, you sneaky little bugger. Awesome! I think that took less than 10 Ultra Balls. Sweet! Cool. Legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. <laughs> Not anymore, because it's mine and it's going to go into a box. Um, I am going to call it Uno. Uno! That's a fun card game. Wow, I can't believe it. That was, that was quite easy. 13 Ultra Balls is all it took. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to regret saying that, because I know now. Uh, you know, I'd like to amend my early statement when I said that I think that this is going to be the hardest one to get. Because uh, looking at my team just now, I've got a feeling that our next one is going to be much, much more difficult. We only had gym fighting as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we want to go to Rock Tunnel Pokemon Center for this one. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to... Paralyze this Pokemon, unless that might be a, a more modern rule. The electric types, aha! Aha, I gave it away, didn't I? If you didn't know the game. <laughs> there may be a more modern rule that electric types aren't affected by Thunder Wave, but um, I'll give it a go anyway. I mean, if you can get a Thunder Wave off, you might as well. Uh, let's go over here. We need to surf down. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, early morning. And drinking coffee. Boop. Okay, so this is the power plant, and there's a trainer there. Let's ignore him. Um, get another super repel, because there are Pokemons inside, which we want to avoid. Because, like I said, I just, I just want to go through this as quick as I can. Uh, there's also going to be items. The power plant! There's also going to be items in here which I'm going to avoid, because I cannot remember which ones are items and which ones are Voltor. Uh, then there's the wiggly bit, I remember this bit. Then right... Um, not up there, up here. Left. Down. Oh, that's wrong. Or was it? No, that was right! Awesome! Oh, this is Zapdos! <laughs> so that was quite easy. Again! Save before capturing, or attempting to capture. And here we go. They all say go. So Zapdos, I think, is going to be the most difficult, simply because I'm not sure if I can paralyze it or not. Okay, and that's going to be irritating. <laughs> Sip of coffee. Underway, yes, okay, you can paralyze Zapdos. Awesome. <clears throat> that will make it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It didn't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna keep Jim in here. Let's go for a double kick. Double kick's fighting type, not very effective against flying types. That was smart, Dale. Oh, by the way, I just, um, last weekend, I took part in a uh, the Nintendo UK battle tournament. Which um, there were, there's heats going on all over um, the United Kingdom. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun! Yeah, there are heats going on all over the United Kingdom, and uh, the winner of each heat will win a or will will advance to the finals, which are in London. And um, whoever wins that one in my specific age category would win a week trip to Japan, as well as uh, an accompanied trip to the Pokemon Center. So, um, we have a free trip to Japan on mine. I entered because there was one actually at my game store nearby. Considering I've only been doing competitive battling for about two months, um, I actually came second overall in the heats. I got right through to the finals, uh, and then I lost. But, um, I was incredibly pleased with my performance, um, because some of the guys there, their stats would show up during Link battles were insane. 
There was, I think the, the guy who was in the finals, he looked like he wasn't a Pokemon player. He acted like he didn't know what he was doing. He clearly did. <laughs> I will say this. Um, I went into the battle thinking, oh yeah, this guy's a tool, you know, he's, he's simple. That's never a good idea to, you know, go into a final match with that mindset. Because, um, like I said, he didn't look the part. He didn't look as if he knew what he was doing. He, he, at some point, I think he was looking over to his friend who was like, um, I don't know, rubbing his chin or scratching his nose. And I thought he was actually signalling him what to do. That's, that's how... Um, convinced I was that this guy was, you know, just, just an extra. But no, he ended up winning, so... <laughs> Don't think that, guys. Um, but yeah, his stats were like he had hatched 2,000 eggs, he had, he'd got like 1,700 battle points, um, his streak in the... Uh, what's it called? The battle maze on was like 70-something. And yeah, I lost to him. <laughs> but, um... It, Ooh, 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 that was close, man. But yeah, it was not as easy as I thought it would be. And um, even the first match, I was just like, whoa. I told the guy afterwards, whoa. Um, <laughs> I hope they're all not this hard. Because <laughs> uh, it was it was a knockout elimination. There were 16 people, then there were eight, then there were four, then there were two, then the winner goes to London. Um, but yeah, I will be uploading those videos, because I saved the battle videos afterwards. Oh man, this is going to be such a pain in the butt. Uh, I save the battle videos after, and I will be uploading those. Um, and I know a lot, not a, uh, a lot of people watch the Leaf Green episodes, so that's a, just a quick heads up to ah, just a quick heads up to you that there will be four videos because I did make it to the finals, but I didn't win. So you know what to expect, and I'm sorry if I spoiled that for you. But um, like I said, the stats which were showing up on these guys were insane. You know, they were clearly long-time Pokémon players. Um, I even beat a guy that uh, made it through to the finals in the nationals at um, the video game championships in the UK last year. Uh, he was the quarter finalist, I think. Yeah, because it was my second match. Uh, but it was really interesting to see different tactics which I haven't seen online yet, so that was cool. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I think I've said all I need to say about uh, the battle tournament. And uh, I, once again, will skip to when I capture some freaking Zapdos. Oh my god. That has to be like 30 plus Ultra Balls. Jeez Louise. This one's going to be called Dose. Awesome. <laughs> uh, luckily there's a handy exit for us right here. Whew. Right. <laughs> so now let's fly to the million, I believe. Um, uh, if, if you remember last episode, we did uh, Island 1, 2, and 3. And, ha, huh, that's quite funny, actually, because this, this episode we're doing Uno, Dos, Tres, which is Spanish for 1, 2, 3. Because if you didn't realise, I only noticed this a few years ago. Oh, yeah, the Tri Bars would like to put the Seagull Ferry to one island. Yes, I would. Um, if you haven't noticed, Articuno, Zapdos, and the last Pokémon, Moltres, is, um, it's actually Spanish for 1, 2, and 3. Hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm having a bit of bit of a hard drive problem at the moment. Uh, just going to heal up my team super duper quickly. I believe this is where the last Pokemon is. Ultras. Yeah. Okay. So for some reason, my hard drive is just like wrecking face right now. And by face, I mean my face. It's not saving the the file to the the hard drive properly. This is kind of annoying. How many did we use? We had 19 left, so that means we used 20... Just under 20. Hang on, we had 37 left, didn't we? We have 47. I can't remember. I'm sure it was a lot. <laughs> okay, hard drive is caught up now. Cool. Let's go. I did just heal, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, uh, bidding... We will be cycling along Kindle Road. We were on Kindle Road, aren't we? Uh, oh, that's a battle. Hmm. 
Nice, some prime ape on prime ape action here. Uh, that's the Ember Spa. We want to go beyond the Spa this time. Uh, I forget why we went there last time. Did we go to get a TM or... No, an item of some description. Anyway, up here... Oh, we have a swimmer. Whoa! We'll get caught. Caught in his eyes. Oh, you sneaky. You sneaky. Okay, so, continuing on, we arrive here, this, oh, wow, oh, why the lag, this is Mount Ember, uh, okay, hang on guys, I'm gonna be right back, okay, I sincerely apologize for that, can you imagine if this volcano were to erupt, the explosion would be the end of us, how terrifying is that, well, we're terrified, we'd like to, no, I wouldn't, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> my laptop lately has been having problems. Uh, I think it's due to dust clogging up the fan by the GPU. Because I have a pretty beastly laptop. You know, it runs things really well. Or it did. Um, so what I think is happening... Hang on, i got to try and avoid this woman. So what I think is happening... Oh, that worked. What I think is happening is that... Um, yeah, dust is clogging up the, the the fan in the GPU, and it's causing it to heat up quicker and not lose heat quickly or fast enough. Uh, so what happens is my computer says, "Hey, oh, we're getting too hot here. Uh, let's reduce the performance of the GPU to uh, prevent overheating." Oh, damn, I don't have Rock Smash on me. Oh. Uh, Hang on, is Rock Smash one of the... No, it's not. Paris can learn Rock Smash, can't it? Yeah. Why hasn't Paris learned Rock Smash before? I could have just... Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of Sun Sunspore. So yeah, um, I just had to plug in my, my uh, cooling pad, let it cool down quickly, and uh, we're away again. But yeah, um, my, my sister's actually having her laptop fixed by some guy my mum knows. I might see if I can get her to ask him to have a look at it, see if he can... And that did not go well, did it? <laughs> um, what have we got? A Paralyze Heal uh, for Greg. Man, that was bad. <laughs> and for Jim. Good old Jim. Now, we're going to keep Jim at the front, just because when we get to Moltres, I'm probably going to forget to switch him. So, if we go through here, you can actually catch some Slugma and stuff here, which is kind of cool. I always liked Johto. Johto is my favourite of the, the places in the Pokemon's world, um, mainly because of the storyline of Heart and Gold. Heart and Gold. Heart, Gold and Soul Silver. Um, I just like the continuation, how the story continues. No other game has done that, really, except for Black and White 2, but does that count? I mean, that was actually a, a proper sequel, not a... I don't know. Uh, okay, so we got a puzzle pushing game. This one looks fairly simple. That one up, that one across, and we can move this all the way over the side. So yeah, as I was saying, probably going to get this guy to look at my laptop, just because I could probably do it myself, you know, take apart my laptop and unclog the dust myself, but I don't want to really run the risk of doing it, you know, because if I screw everything up, I can't blame someone other than me. Anyway, here's the final legendary bird, finally. It is Moltres. Fire type, so um... Yeah, I <laughs> don't know where I was going with that. Endure. 
especially you surf or something, that would have been cool. cool. Man, these these three Pokemon are going to be the the uh, highest level Pokemon in our team. Because we're going to use all three of them now, we won't use any of them. I don't know why, I like collecting legendary Pokemon, I don't like using them. <laughs> no to each their own. Oh, I'm not going to risk that for a chocolate biscuit, no way. Bro, that's going to do a bit of damage. A little bit more than a bit of damage. Paralyzed and can't move. Haha, <laughs> suck it. I wonder how difficult this one's going to be to... Oh no, is that going to be enough? It wasn't enough, but now I can't escape and I'm going to get hurt every time. I'm not going to survive one more turn. I will survive one more turn. One more quick attack should be enough to bring it into where I want it to be so I can do the catching thing. Hopefully it won't. Oh, I forgot to get more Ultra Balls. Balls. And then Fire Spin, yeah, that'll kill it off. Bye, Jim. Use the next Pokemon. Uh, we'll go with good old Splash of the Blastoise. Um, no chance. <laughs> Let's go for the Ultra Ball. Fingers crossed it doesn't take more than it did with Zapdos, because that was... Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt butt, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. One day, one day I will afford a decent gaming PC. One day. <laughs> And then you guys can have all the videos. Oh, I hear my fan kicking in now. Oh. Oh! Oh! Was that three Ultra Balls? Oh, man! Got owned! That's all three of them. It's said to be the legendary bird Pokemon of Fire. Every flap of its wing creates a dazzling flare of fright flames. Cool! We got them all! That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Tres! Uno, dos, tres! Catcho! Ha! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's... Oh, that's good. I like that. Can't use that here. Cool. Um... Right, so for the end of the episode... Uh, we're gonna do two more things real quick. Uh, first of all, let's escape from here. <laughs> Um, ha, it's ironic because we're on a volcano and I said cool. Let's fly back to one island. That's my impression of a Fero. Uh, right, let's take the boat back. Do not want to use another pal. Ahoy! Vermilion, please! Do -do -do -do. Okay, so next episode we will be. Well, this episode actually, we will be heading back to Viridian City uh, to face our final gym leader with our legendary Pokemon. <laughs> no, um, I'm gonna quickly heal up. Uh, okay. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. And something I. I wasn't actually, I'm still not too sure if I want to do this now, but I'm going to do it just for poops and giggles. There we go, look. Oh no, it does. Tres cuatro. No cuatro. Only a catcher. Volpixel. We will bring Volpixel into our team. Goodbye, Harry. You won't be needed yet. And because it's been, well, as time-wise, I'm not sure about episode-wise. Um... It's been a while since we've had an evolution, so I'm going to stand out in front of the minion of oh, Viridian Gym. Viridian Gym's leader returned! Hooray! And uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to taunt him and, uh, uh, what's the word? Intimidate him by evolving our Volpixel. What? Volpixel is evolving? So the interesting thing about this Pokemon is once it's evolved, it cannot learn any more moves by leveling up. Um, so you're going to have to want to wait a while before you level it up, or well, not level it up, uh, before you use the Firestone to evolve it. But this is Ninetales! And a uh, pretty cool looking Fire Pokemon. It's, it's, uh, 
its shiny form is really interesting as well. I don't like it too much, but a lot of people do. Uh, so there we go. We now have our full team member here. Let's go through them real quick. We have Jim the Jolteon. We have Optimus the Primate. We have Greg the Fero. We have Splasher the Blastoise. We have Wally the Creepy. Uh, dra uh, not Drowsy. Hypno. Yeah, it says on the right. <laughs> and we have Volpixel the Nine Tails. So that's our team. Uh, what? What? Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Um, and next episode, we will be heading into the Virid Viridian Gym to take on the eighth and final gym leader of the game. So thank you all very much for watching, and I guess I'll see you in about three, four, maybe five months. <laughs> Catch you guys later!